So in this video, we are going to be doing the task called Sky is the Limit. Or Sky is the Limit, I guess. And we are getting a service spare part. I was actually going to go down um, this... The so we're on the right half of the river, basically. I was going to go down this way, but then I realized I forgot my metal beams over here. So I have to go back across anyways. And I started driving out the Mastodon, which has the crane, because we're going to need to crane it up on top of the power line. Actually, I'm going to test if it needs it or not, because supposedly it doesn't on BTS. So we might not need it, but uh, I was driving out the Mastodon with a the new heavy crane that they added for that. And I wanted to see... Um, if, if there was a spot where I could cut across something. And so I drove off and I got stuck in the rocks. And I'll show you guys, you guys will probably think I'm stupid, but... Um, I know that part of this river is pretty shallow and you can drive across it. And so I was kind of just, you know, trying to see where exactly that, that starts at. And so I was going to go into the river and then just kind of um, drive down it until I could find a spot where it was shallow. But I couldn't even get all the way into it. I got stuck in the rocks. Okay, let's grab a metal beams. So yeah, the plan is we're going to drive there with this and try and go into the water and then drive there and see if we can deliver without the crane. Actually, I lied. <coughs> Excuse me. Because the crane is on our way. So we'll just pull the crane out and then drive there. And if we need it, we can just drive the crane the rest of the way. But if we don't need it, we can just deliver and call it. So... Yeah, this is, uh... What the Kenworth can do, climbing in some hills with three slots of cargo. It's not the, uh, I don't think the, um, the service spare parts are very heavy. I don't remember what their weight is, maybe one ton, I'm not really sure. But I think the metal beams are five tons, if I remember correct. So, I mean, that's basically two and a half tons per slot. But yeah, this is the hill, if you guys remember the video where I tried to haul the big trailer with the Mac, this is the hill that I tried to climb with the, the K7M and the P12, and they... I had the P12 with the big crane, and the K7M couldn't climb it, neither could the P12, and they couldn't climb it together either, so... Uh, yeah, that's where that, that hill was, and then I brought out the Dairy Special and flipped it going up the hill and just said, screw it. I didn't even attempt to flip back over. I was just like, all right, whatever. I'm not going that way. So I went a new way with the 605R and that was fine. You can actually see our Azov 73210 across the river over there by that little shack. And we should have a couple more trucks if we can see them. I still don't know why I have this truck here. You guys can't see it quite yet, but I, yeah. And so here's where I tried to go out into the water with the Mastodon, so... I wanted to see exactly where the shallow part starts. So let's try... to pull this thing back up. I don't think it'd be too hard. Oh, there we go. So we have the Mastodon with the big new crane. We'll park this off on the side. If we can get it there. So that looks like a, a spot where I, might, I probably should have gone in, but... I'm 
looking at this, I got six gears. I don't remember. Is that the find? No, it's not find. It must be a uh, advanced special. I think I have in here. All right, we're back into our Kenworth here, and I still want to find out where exactly this uh, shallow area starts. This is this will be get some good knowledge for uh, when the phase drops. And that's kind of what most of these videos are. They're kind of just uh, feeling out the terrain, getting a good look at the the vehicles, kind of seeing, you know, what needs to go where and kind of what's good and bad routes. And then, you know, for like for this part, where's a good shortcut? You know, where can we... Because we... I'll show you guys here in a little bit. We would basically have to go all the way to the north part of the map. Well, I mean, we're already like halfway or something there, but... We'd have to go all the way up, and then across, and then down, and then we'd have to go through some water. But I think, I'm not exactly sure where the shallow part starts, I, I think it's right about here somewhere. So I want to get into the water and show you guys with the uh, photo mode, if I can. That, ooh, that looks like a good way down right there, maybe. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So, sort of an experiment, guys. Uh, it might go badly. We'll see. There we go. We're down into the water. So now let's pop it into uh, photo mode here. And I changed the time. So here we go. Let's go underwater. Okay, so you can see... You know, it's too deep for all of this. But right out here... I mean, if you follow the shoreline, it looks like you can ride through quite a bit of that up there to the left so we'll go around this corner here and then we'll go back into photo mode and I will reset the time here I, I, ch I changed the time on uh, the uh, photo mode just to make it a little brighter yeah it looks like you can uh, kind of just follow this you don't actually have to follow the road but this part of the road actually this part is does have a bad part right to my left right before this tower thing yeah I think we'll hop in all right so we're back in free cam let's go underwater here oh yeah look at that it's pretty shallow all across there it does get deeper right here but basically this entire area it looks like I don't know how far back that goes but it might even go all the way to that hill and then, yeah, you can cross from there to here, so... It looks like, uh, basically this whole little bay area you can drive on, uh, in the water. Depending on how, how high of a snorkel you have, obviously you don't take a, a cat in here. Although, it might be just low enough to, to, hit, to fit like a 745C or something, I'm not sure. So I'm kind of just driving around right now to kind of check this part out. And I probably, I mean, I could be doing this off recording, but maybe this is good knowledge for you guys. I don't know. Let's check, uh, check this part out now. Oh, wow, it's getting deep right here. All right, so here we go. Okay, yeah, this whole area. I mean, over there, it's it does look like it's a little bit deeper, but it's fairly shallow throughout most of this area all the way over towards the bridge I mean in the middle part it's obviously deeper but um, yeah it looks like it's a pretty pretty drivable throughout this whole area so um, instead of having like I said instead of having to follow this road let's see if I can back up with the parking brake on here we would have had to follow it from off behind us right over here all along this and then up over here then across this bridge down and around across this bridge up across here and then follow excuse me follow the roads down and then cross somewhere over here so um, knowing this actually is going to save you guys quite a bit of time and maybe fuel if you are on hard mode or I guess I mean it'd, it'd save you fuel on normal mode too but uh, if you're paying for fuel, then it's uh, quite a bit nicer. So, 
let's go up here. It does look like we will need the crane, but let's see if it allows us to do Oh, nope. It still has a zone, even though it's only showing up above. Um, it has a zone down here, so we don't need it for this particular video. So I will save us the time and we'll, uh, we'll use the big crane when the, when the actual game comes out. So let's unload this. And there we go, 730 and 8,050 for that. And I just wanted to show you guys, if you did need the spare parts and you don't have that warehouse that I have down by the garage, you can get the service parts here and you can get the metal beams up over here. So you could drive all the way up north, you know, from the garage down here, all the way up, go grab your beams, grab your uh, service spare parts, and then drive down and cross in there. But it looks like basically from here over to here, and then there's kind of like a little cutout right here where it's really deep, but all of this area you can drive on if you have a decent uh, depth snorkel, or I don't know if that makes sense, but Anyways, but that is going to be it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.